Hey guys, today I am back and doing another tag. This tag is the Black Booktuber tag by Reading Black. I'll link their channel down below and the original tag video so that you can see it. But I, I'm kind of excited about this tag. I, I love that Black Booktube is growing more and getting more recognition and being more in the public eye. So let's get into this. The first question is, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, if you're new to my channel, I'm Tracy. I am a middle grade and YA writer. I predominantly write fantasy, especially contemporary fantasy. Uh, what else about myself? I'm a big Star Wars fan and I... trying to think of something about myself. I don't know. I feel so boring. I'm a high school teacher and yeah, that, that, that's all I got. I'm boring. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next question is, who's a black author you love that a lot of people don't know about? Ooh, this is a hard question for me. There's so many that I, I feel need to be promoted more. So off the top of my head, um, Ronnie Davis, her debut came out last year, When the Stars Lead to You. It was a powerful book about young love and mental health. And I just, I weeped, I laughed. I love that book. I actually have an interview with her on this channel, so I will link to that too. I also like L.L. McKinney, the author of A Blade So Black. It is a series about what if Buffy was a black girl and she fell down the hole to Wonderland. It is like, it's so good. I love that series. The last book should be coming out later this year. And I believe she's writing a, I don't remember if it's a middle grade or a YA graphic novel about Nubia, um, Wonder Woman's sister. So I'm excited for that one too. I'm going to just leave it at those two authors because I could probably go on and on forever about black authors that need more recognition. There's so many of them. The next question is my favorite book about the black experience. That's another hard one because there really isn't any one black experience. So trying to think of a book that best reflects my black experience, mine would probably be Slay by Brittany Morris. It is a book about a black high school girl who tired of dealing with massage noir and racism in gaming decides to create her own game and like some drama goes down <laughs> it pulls into me being a big gaming fan and her being like more of a middle class black teen which I feel like we don't get to see often enough so I, I really enjoy those aspects of it. The next question is, favorite book by a black author? Oh, these are such hard questions. Like choosing a favorite book is like asking who's your favorite child, but okay. So I'm going to go with what my favorite book is at the moment. I would have to go with Ray Bear by Jordan Ifuiko. And like, it, it's actually not out yet. I got the ARC last year. It was supposed to be out already, but because of COVID, the release date was pushed back to, I want to say next month, August maybe September. I, I can't remember the exact date right now, 
but oh my goodness that is like one of the best books I've read it is my favorite book of the year so far as, as I talk about in my um, mid-year freak out so yeah I I really love that book right now so that's my choice for my favorite black book um, recommend a black and queer book Ooh, again so many choices okay let me think okay so the easy choice would be any of case and calendars books I love their writing they are great but I'm actually going to go with let's talk about love by Claire Kahn it's such an underrated book that's another author that like needs more recognition let's talk about love features an ace character and I just I love that we are not only getting LGBTQ plus representation in that book but also that it is ace which is in general underrepresented and even more so when it comes to POC so having a black girl being ace in a book is just I, I love it the next question is recommend a book with a black person on the cover oh see I personally love 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 covers with black people on them I prefer covers with black models not just illustrated so like so many of my books are with black people on the cover I will legit buy a book because the cover is pretty I'm, I'm shallow like that so for this one I'm gonna go with you should see me in a crown by Leah Johnson <clears throat> it just came out last month in June and it is another LGBTQ plus book which I'm loving the amount of representation we are getting in books now and like this cover has won a photograph of a black girl on it and two like she has like this big afro and I love seeing the natural hair being represented so that that gets me excited it's a really cute cover she has this great big smile and like a crown drawn on and the background's perfect it's so cute I'm a yeah admire that for a second it's so cute love it next question is recommend a book by a black author that makes you happy oh that makes me happy All right, I can't pick one particular book so I'm going to name two authors my usual go-to happy books are romances so I'm gonna say Alyssa Cole and oh I'm three authors three authors Alyssa Cole Talia Hibbert and Rebecca Weatherspoon their books always just bring me so much joy seeing black love and I I love to see it like those are comfort reads for me it's like being taken into a warm hug recommend some black booktubers oh that's another hard one let me pull up my YouTube and list off names a lot of the people that I follow actually tend to be author tubers so that kind of like changes things a little but I can tell you who I follow these are both author tubers and book tubers so some of them may talk more about writing but they'll all talk about books in some way so I recently started following pages of Sid um, I love Lizelle Sambury Bow Ties and Books Jess is an icon they like they're amazing everyone should follow them a castle library princess is also amazing I recently started following Starla Reads and reading with Nori and Mina Reads. They're all really good. Um, if you like to write and discuss craft books, 
Tamara Woods is a good person to follow. She runs riding sprints and I want to say it's a monthly meeting to um, discuss a craft book. I, they pick a book at the end of the month and then at the end of the next month they host a live reading. I say they because Tamara will usually have one or two or three other writers on the live stream with her and like them discussing the craft book is usually very informative. Uh, Nala Reads and Smiles is always just such a joy to watch. Christina Lore, my name is Marini's. I, the novel Lush is actually one of my favorite booktubers. Like, not just black booktubers, she's one of my favorite booktubers. She's so amazing and hilarious. Like, watching her rants while she's drinking is like the best thing ever. Uh, we got the we got booked with Jamila. That's another really good channel. So actually I'm going to link all of these down below. I know it's, I named a lot of people so I'll give you links to all of their channels. Next question is talk about a book by a black author that's coming in 2020. Oh ah what's some books that I'm excited about. I actually what is today? Today's the 6th so actually tomorrow I should be getting my copy of Cinderella is Dead. I'm excited. Actually it will be today because this will post on the 7th but Cinderella is Dead comes out today tomorrow however you want to look at it tomorrow for me today for you and I'm just I'm so excited about that book that's another one with a black girl on the cover it's queer I just I'm so excited about that book I yes like that is a book I've been looking forward to for months I I'm I'm trying to finish edits right now and I think that is going to be my reward for finishing because I'm supposed to finish tomorrow so yeah, that, that's the book that I am looking forward to. The last question is to tag some more booktubers, but I'm not gonna tag anybody. So consider this me tagging you. If you are watching this video, you are tagged. If you do do the tag, please let me know down below. I would love to watch it. And especially if I don't already follow you, I would love to follow more black booktubers. I we honestly got to stick together sometimes. I'm so excited to see more coming around. So please let me know if you do do this tag. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you want to be notified when I post more things, I'm trying to post every Tuesday right now. So subscribe and hit that little bell if you want that extra make sure you don't miss the notification. I have some good videos planned coming up, a couple challenges, a kind of announcement thing going on, so you may want to keep an eye on the channel. But until then, keep writing and keep reading.